Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'd like to show you how I made this Father's Day card. Now, this is using the material uh, from the new suite called uh, Sailing Away and there's the Sailing Home stamp set here. I'm trying to put that down so I minimize the glare, like maybe like that. Um, and it's got all of these beautiful images anchored, two different size sailboats, birds, a lighthouse, and some wonderful sentiments. Congrats, thanks, set sail in the direction of your dreams. You're my true north. Let's hope, let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. It's got these ropes. It's a very, very pretty stamp set. And the die set for this has rope. It has uh, a frame here. It has a detail that cuts and embosses a little stripe here. The large and the small sailboat. It's got a banner here. Um, it's got lighthouse and it's got two of these items here which work on like this um, compass here so that you could set the needles apart, raised. Um, and then it's got a ship's wheel. It's got some seaweed here. Uh, I think that's it. It's, it's a very nice set, got really nice stuff in it. And so today um, I thought I would show this card and this could easily say happy birthday. On the inside, I used the compass and put you my, you are my true north. Now, if you're like me and your father is gone, uh, and I might send this to one of my sons, I have another stamp here that you sa says you mean the world to me. And uh, the true north stamp comes out of this stamp set, and the you mean the world to me comes out of the well said bundle. It's a two-stamp set that's got just about everything in the world you could ever want to say. And there's the You Mean the World to Me right there. And um, so let's just get started here. I used a navy blue base here that is 8.5 by 5.5 scored and folded at 4 and a quarter. Let me give that a little burnish there. And then I have two pieces of white that measure four by five and a quarter, one for the inside, one for the outside. I have a piece of this pretty DSP. On the back side of this are little lighthouses, but I love this bold stripe pattern here. And this designer series paper is absolutely great. This is gonna make great masculine cards all year long. And they can be, like I said, happy birthday, they can be this could be graduation, where there's this one that says set sail in the direction of your dreams. I, there's so much you can do. There's this pretty compass paper with some map material behind it. These stripes with a seaweed detail, sailboats and green stripes, um, light and dark uh, stripes here. Let me peel this back, which is on the back side of the seaweed stuff. These are like sailing instruments, really pretty. Uh, I don't remember what they're all called. <laughs> Something that reminds me of ticking material that used to be on old style pillows. Um, uh, these rope, knotted ropes here, and some wonderful paper that is uh, like a, a newspaper in a coastal city about sailing and seas. And so there's just all kinds of beautiful paper in this. And I chose this one. And this piece is four by two and a half. And uh, I'm also using um, this twine. We have this twine that's available. And it is um, kind of a tan color. Let's see, I don't have a kind of, oh, there it is. There's the package. It's this Knight of Navy and Sahara Sand Baker's Twine. And it's real thick, so it looks like rope. Anyway, uh, and I'm changing this up a little bit. Um, 
I'm uh, going to try and put a little piece of this twine across this seam here. I thought that would look good. And so I may go around that a couple times. We'll, we'll see here. Actually, I think I'm going to do my sponging here first. So I'm using two colors. I'm using Night of Navy and I'm using Balmy Blue. And the Balmy Blue I wanted to be here at the top to kind of represent sky. And I made mine a little blotchy because I thought it might be kind of fun to have it be, oh, clouds and sky and um, uh, like fog, that kind of thing. I don't know how well I achieved it, but <laughs> made the effort. So I'm going to take my little blending brush here and let me get a piece of scratch paper I can put down here and just start adding some color here softly across the top of my card. And again, I'm not necessarily interested in getting it on here smoothly um, just because I kind of like the blotchy look personally. Um, well, I guess that's a little smoother than it might otherwise be, but that that's okay too. And so maybe I'll add a few little splotches here and there um, to get some different color in there. There we go. I don't know why that makes me happy, but it does. <laughs> Okay, so I have my Happy Father's Day, and this Happy Father's Day, by the way, comes from the Well Said Bundle as well. So I'm going to take my Happy and stamp that right up here in the corner as straight as I can get it. There we go. We've got our Happy, and then I've got Father's Day, but certainly this could be birthday. And I'm going to put my Father's Day right underneath the happy on my card. There we go. Happy Father's Day. And then um, I have these birds. And I was putting these birds just right up here. And they're kind of faded, but I kind of like that. I put those in the balmy blue here. And... Um, then next, and you could certainly put that all in in the Knight of Navy. On the inside of the card, I am going to use Knight of Navy because I want a, a bolder color here. And so I'm going to ink up my compass here and put that right down here in the corner. I didn't put my label on straight, so my compass isn't exactly straight here. Boy, I don't like that at all. Let me try that again. See if I can't get this. I need to mark that somehow. Okay, let's see if we can't do that again and get a crisper image. There, that's a little bit better. And on this one, I thought I would put You Mean the World to Me here instead of the You're My True North. Um, might not be appropriate depending on who you're sending it to. If you're sending it to the, your brother or your son or an uncle, uh, it might not be the right message. So there's the one that says You Mean the World to Me. And here's my compass down below. And... Here's my front, card front. So now what I'm going to do is take this piece of paper here, this designer series paper, and adhere that to the bottom of my card. And this paper is cut so that it covers the whole bottom of the card, not leaving any margin. And uh, I liked it better. I tried it both ways. Let me move this into the view here a little bit better. And I'm just going to set that down so that it comes across and covers the bottom of the card. And then I die cut out my pieces here, and here they are. I've got the large sailboat, the small sailboat, and the anchor. And then I have some dimensionals here. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere these pieces. Um, now, 
to get my little piece of twine in the top of the anchor, I took my anchor here and um, my pokey tool, and actually the one on the end of the pick tool is a much wider um, punch. So I'm punching through the top of that paper. going to kind of pull that around a little bit so that I make a nice big opening. And then I've got about three inches of twine here that I'm going to stick through here. And I'm going to use my poke tool here on the end to get that pushed through. And there we go. And then I just tied a little knot on the top of this anchor. There we go. Just to add a little contrast, not only in color, but in texture as well. So there's that, and I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on that. And I'm going to cut some of these dimensionals in half. I don't know where my minis are. They're not right here where I can get my hands on them. So I'm going to set this one across here, just touching the back of that twine. And one right down here on the anchor. This works a lot better with mini dimensionals <laughs> for the anchor here. So I'm going to set one here and one on this other side here. Okay, now this anchor I placed down here on my paper and there we go. So I've got my anchor down here. Then I did cut a little piece of twine that was about five and a half inches and I thought that might go here to kind of cover up the seam and I like that additional texture on here. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, snail on the end here and anchor this piece of twine just across that um, border with the designer series paper. There we go. There we go. All right, so yeah, I like that. I like that better. Okay, then I have my two sailboats here that I'm also going to put dimensionals on and put those into place. Okay, now I put my larger sailboat down here. right here so that it's somewhat sticking up but holding my twine in place. And then I'm going to take my smaller one and put it into place right up here on my card. And then I have some of these cute little, they're called sail away 
trinkets and there's anchors and um, like st steering I don't know what the steering mechanism for a boat I don't know what it's called exactly but I thought that would be kind of cute either up here or down here and I think I like it better down here all right so I'm going to use a glue dot to secure that in place so a glue dot right down here and so there we go there's my father's day card and because this let me see how that's going to sit down here you know because this twine is so heavy i think i'm going to put this card on dimensionals on my card So I'm going to center this piece on the card front here. There we go. And then add my other piece here. And I was just looking at it and thinking maybe to tie that all together, I'll add a little of that balmy blue sponging also to the inside of my card here, just uh, around this piece here. What happened to my, there's my scratch paper. And just a hint of color along here. There we go. All right, now this I'm just going to put down with snail. On the inside of my card, there we go. So that is the project today. Once you have your pieces cut out, this is a very fast card. Uh, again, using the designer series paper in small amount here to add a punch to this card and then the twine. And you'll have to tell me, but I like the touch of the extra piece of twine on here. I think it looks more finished since it's hard to put bling on a card for a guy <laughs> don't don't expect they'll appreciate my rhinestones so um being able to put you know this trinket on here put the birds and add the twine which adds a little visual interest as far as the uh, textures are concerned here i think makes a lovely card thank you so much for stopping by my youtube channel today i do so appreciate it and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Uh, or you could join my team. $125 worth of product for $99 uh, puts you on my team. And that would be lovely as well. Uh, this material will be available for order. And if you're one of my customers, you've started receiving your catalogs in the mail now. I think Stampin' Up! started mailing them out um, couple of days ago because I had word from a customer this morning that she'd already gotten her catalog. So my guess is if you ordered with me in the last six months, you're in the process of getting your catalog right now and things will be available to order here uh, from the main catalog on June the 4th. So just a couple of weeks away and this one is a lovely set to have for all kinds of masculine cards, for all kinds of occasions all year long. And not only that, but your friends that live along the coasts or near a body of water where they do some sailing, I think would appreciate this as well. And um, let's see, my prize for May is the nine block set of the Stampin' Up! blocks here and a $71 value in the catalog. And... Uh, 
I'm doing a paper share out of the new catalog. As you look at those papers, look hard at that because they're beautiful and my paper share is $49 for all of the designer series play paper plus the colored vellum. And so um, I'll be back soon with more cards and more projects and more tips. Bye!